All right, you two, we're here for the third league. We're going to try this one more time. I would like to play some more control decks. This is the saddest. That was the saddest match of my life. Right there. Such a buzzkill. I'd oblige. If only. Wasn't the funniest experience ever. I'm glad someone got some entertaining out of that shit show. Not a lot of humans on Moto at the moment, as I've been noticing there. I think part of that is because I, I would be willing to bet that that, uh, that that humans deck beats, that, that whatever deck beats this tar out of it. Oh, this hand's not good. I'm going to mulligan. And we'll keep this one. we we'll do a little bobble action. Check out our top card. Green. Oh, we're playing against some Amulet. I like, this. I like playing this deck a lot. This is one of my favorite decks to play. I'm not very good at it, but I do enjoy playing it. So we're going to try to hit like an Explorer, a Tribe Scout, or an Azusa here. All right, so this is a slow hand for sure. So let's just, just take this Explorer. The problem is their deck is like naturally lands, so they're going to find ways to like to get through this. Okay, so there's a tribe scout, so we know what they have going on. Alright, so let's serum visions. We can dig four cards looking for a death shadow. I don't think Snapcaster is like an actual viable way to win this. All right, there's our boy. So, we're just going to hope that they do not top deck a Walking Blista. This monster hits a Walking Blista, I'm going to throw out. Okay, so there's the land. Does that mean he can pack, play, his, play Titan? Back for Azusa. He just cast Titan. Wow, I, I should have... I didn't pay attention to this. Well, no, I'm not rewarded. I'm screwed. Because, like, I just didn't count the mana. I realized I was dead to it. Like, a bounce land just, like, got me with this Tribe Scout. So, not rewarded. Yeah, never mind. No, I was just like not paying attention and realized that if they just find this, they can just cast it. We have five videos on YouTube today, which is pretty great. It'll probably take me a while to edit them. After this, I'll probably head out to the store, grab a six pack, and then. I'll push it. Yes, it was. But now they have a bunch of packs. All these come into play untapped. Transmute. Like the thing, the really cool thing about this deck is that it just turns into an endless amount of primeval titans. They still only have made one drop, so they can go like packed for Azusa. No, they still, there's no need for them to do that, I guess. They 
This is going to be a tough one to win. Yeah, I would agree. Because, like, they're going to have haste, hasty primeval titans next turn. Get this. Yeah, we're we're just dead. Because we can block these, but it's not gonna matter. So like, I guess we could have scrapped it out there for the last three percent, but I'm I'm not about that life. I would rather just move on here. I made a stupid mistake which cost us that match there. Which happens. So I want this. I want the Battle Rage. This Counter Squall's got to go. I'm not a big fan of Fatal Push. I'm going to cut a Gurmag Angler. And probably these Snapcaster Mages. Keep in one Snapcaster Mage. I like cutting a Gurmag Angler because they, they tend to try to set up like a Bajoku Bog Lock on you. But they just keep bouncing the Bog and you can just never cast an Angler. Yeah, pushing Snap was still correct. I just like could have won that game had I just taken care of the Titan. But I guess like they would have just packed it for a Titan. So we were much closer to dead than we thought we were. This hand's pretty good. Bobble here, then cycle. So I have people in the chat are going to PTQs tomorrow. How many? Tell me. I certainly hope you all do well. Qualify for an RPTQ. Oh, I think we want this. Okay, just more. Give me one second. Hello? Hey. On screen. Yeah, I'm Little ball and chain called, so I figured I'd see what's going on. Playing Jund? Bold man. So if I hit a fetch land, we can get nasty next turn. So we're just going to take this one. Joke's on you. We don't even have a death shadow. We'll probably end up thought seizing this Azusa. So now we can go thought seize, Azusa, fetch, Get nasty. Wow, they hit an amulet. What a tilt. We're going to have to K-command that thing. We're still going to just get rid of this Azusa. Really? Is that what you're telling me there, Archmage? You know, you're a bold decision for a PTQ there, Archmage. We're going to K-Command, bang, bang. The team RPTQ for John stuff. How did your team, the, the team RPTQ, how'd that go for you? I feel like Unified is awful. They ditch a gemstone mine. So they drew another gemstone mine. All right, so I know all their cards. I can take an Engineered Explosives. That doesn't seem worth it. So we're in for top eight. That's tough. That is tough no matter what. 
So we can't quite get nasty again. So he's taking this engine just as nothing. I don't see what they can do next turn to get out of this. Were they good games, or did you guys just kind of get beat up? Because I don't mind, like, if I lose good games or it was my fault, I definitely don't mind it. Okay, so let's just... Battle Rage and get it. So that was just a really good draw from us. Like, we just kind of got on the front foot, stayed on the front foot. Just going to run it back the same way. Uh, we kind of we kind of lost round one of our what cause lost because one of our teammates was playing without talking about it and because I lose my game three and the other teammate won two zero oh, so he made a choice about talking about this and lost. Yeah, I definitely think that when it comes to team events, you should just like. I like team events when you just mostly just talk. Don't talk to each other. I'm gonna mulligan. But I'm very much on team. Team no talking unless that person asks. Because, like, or you see something egregious happening. I think talking definitely takes away from things. We're going to hold up this stub because it's not – I'm not going to put it out of their way to play an explore or, like, play uh, amulet plus bounce land here. I'm going to call the drive back home. I'm trying to, like, quit magic for a few months after that. That's tough. That is rough. I don't know. Why is talking needed in Unified Standard? I feel like in Unified, you just want to, like, let each other know what everybody's playing so you know how to sideboard, you know? All right, so now we're going to just see our visions here. We've got to find some action quickly. Thoughts is good. I'm actually going to put both of these on top. Thought sees, thought scour them, yeah. We'll be able to do both of those next turn. How the fuck do you play? You want to play one, one plays you, then push Jake. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Now I wish I didn't have that bolt. Well, Steel Leaf Stompy was jank, right? Before Vine Mare. Yeah, I mean, I think you do the same thing in every format, right? Like, yeah, I don't know. So now I think I'm just going to mill over. I mean, I guess I can actually just take this bolt, one of these, just to... Because it, it does slow down my opponent's mana production a little bit. They put a land into play. I should be paying attention to the lands they have. They, they've got another land that I don't know about. Unified is frustrating in general. 
like unified is just kind of annoying because like yeah i just i really dislike unified formats because it just makes things harder on your teams because like card availability can be an issue But even sometimes you have to struggle, which, like, is annoying, you know? I should know what my opponent's last card is, which is annoying. Maybe I can deduct it by looking here. I believe it's a land. Nazis, Skur, Charles, Sledge of Sanctuary. Maybe I don't know the last card. All right, let's snap Thoughtseize then. Because then we've at least got them playing off the top. Because if they get one Titan in play with this amulet, then it's all bad. Yeah, I don't even think it's like that anymore. I think modern is like unfortunately just kind of flattening out. Like the good decks are just so much better than like the not good decks at the moment. Like these Bridgevine humans, Tron and Amulet are just so far ahead the rest of the format that it's just wild. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Because, like, I think that there's a top. I think it's very good. I think it's difficult to play. And, like, I think it's hard to play. And it is has the same problem that a mid-range deck has where you have to be able to address the right things. My sideboard right now is a little weak to humans. But it's good against, like, Control, Tron... It's good against the Graveyard decks and Tron. Um, I'm kind of struggling against the Control decks a little bit. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good plan for that. Um, but like I definitely think that the, like the top of the format is like humans, humans, Tron, KCI, this Bridgevine deck, and Blue Eye Control. And then there's like, then there's like right here. Is like there's like the rest of those decks that you would consider like work that used to be like just those like anything can win kind of decks, and then there's like Grixis Shadow is like right here in the middle I think. Like Grixis Shadow has more powerful draws than the top of the decks, but it also is just like has a bit of a mid range deck problem. Did I say amulet? I, I I probably meant Ironworks and Amulet was just on my what was on my head. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Put this in the bottom. I'm not sure whether you get stretched too thin trying to beat the top of the format now. It's difficult. So I'm just going to trade with this right now. I don't want to get my thought seize countered. I want to choose to do this. I don't want my opponent to be able to... I don't want to give my opponent the choice. I want to dictate what goes on with this Mausoleum Wanderer. Um, yeah, but you can get away with this because sometimes you can just turn four people. And that's what makes... Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to fire off a couple of these. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Well, that's nice. Let's take a look here. I think I think of a possibility to do a little more format.
I'm just going to this. I don't even think that's the case anymore, Nilla. Like, like the, that Bridgevine deck destroyed Storm on, ca on camera. Like, Huey got wrecked by that deck. You know, like, all these turn three, turn four combo decks are just pushed out by, by these human decks. So let's take this path. You know, like, the, the format is, is, is widening in my opinion. There are so many other, like, the whole, like, go to a large event and play what you like thing, I think it's changing. I'm going to, like, cycle enough street rates here to hold up a path, I think. This spell color is going to hurt, though. Yeah, I don't think we can beat, like, Path plus this Spell Color Disruption. No, okay, so I should leave this Lightning Bolt in my graveyard. Because this Lightning Bolt's, like, the only way I'm going to get out of this, I think. That's not bad. So now we can change here. We're gonna, now we're going to delve over the Bolt, I think, because we hit this push. He will do all the Storm do. I think it's very difficult to call, like, John Finkel and those guys, like, horrible. When those guys, like, Caleb Shear knows a lot about Storm, but they are just, like, not nearly the gifted magic players that those guys are. And, like, if John, if John Finkel or Huey Jensen played Storm as much as Caleb Shear did, then, like, no one would ever beat them, you know? Should have, should have stopped that. Okay, so they're going to copy Nasty. We're going to push this. Oh, consistently would burn against Bridgevine. I can see that happening. Like, Eidolon is kind of a beating against all their creatures. You gotta, like, you're not beating their creature draws, I would assume. I can see Eidolon being very good. I should have definitely stubbed this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know Noah, but I, I would, I would honestly give them the benefit of the doubt. That's good. Probably want more of those. You know, rest in peace is kind of slow, which is very odd to say. That's a, that's a good one. It gets spell quoted though, so I'm actually not sure how good it is. Edict Jailer. I don't think I'm going to play this Shadow. <laughs> Yixlid. If I draw a fetch land, I'm going to run this Shadow out there for sure. And hopefully not get destroyed by, like, any, like a, okay, so that's not bad. We still get wrecked by Queller Image here. That card, Joint, Junger, Denard, Grunt are very, I'm confused. So I can run this shadow out there. I really don't want to start the fight. I kind of want to go like snap push dismember in the game. I guess I could have also done that like... So 
We know about the spell bar. I don't think I'm going to win. I'm fairly certain I've played myself into kind of a troublesome position here. That was dumb there because I was dead to a land, like I knew that. your own shit for that. Oh, because you like Eldritch Evolution your own card? So really hoping there's nothing behind this Ether Vial here. Because like, there's nothing behind this Ether Vial and our opponent has to chump with this spell color, we're in business. Well, Cage doesn't do anything against that deck right now, right? Don't activate this freaking ether vial, you bastard. Oh, I think I played this game like just about as poorly as you can imagine. Ugh. Yeah, I mean that's good. Like you, you can just body them on the, you can body them in the in the, uh, on the ground. We want this, this, probably these. Stubs are good, not great. We don't need all the street wraiths. Oh, just gonna cut through the street wraiths. We're gonna go like this. Yeah, it's decent. I think I played that very poorly. I think I, I think I could have won that game if I would have like zoned in a little bit. Who would like to play first? All right, this hand is not messing around. We're probably gonna save our street raid for our turn three play here. How are you boarding as humans? Um, let me go do that. We can do a little dry run here while it's my opponent's turn. That's worship. All right, take that worship. Okay. So it's humans. I'm cutting these. These, bring in these, bring in these five. EE, e, two commands, battle rage, push for three stubs and two street rates. That is how we're doing it. All right, so hopefully we can just bully them here. They attack me though. They're they're in they're they're playing a dangerous game. Okay. We're hitting this drug skull captain. Let's go get steam vents. A 
don't think I want either of these. Do I want to cycle 12? They attack me in the air for four. Yeah, I probably want to cycle now that I have a blocker. That should be decent next turn. They're not blocking. So they, I, I just I just had like a scared double check to make sure that they couldn't kill me. I think Mardu's like decent, but I don't think it's that great. I think it's the best. I think it's the second. I, I, it depends what you call this deck. If this, you call this deck a mid range deck, this is better than Mardu Pyromancer at that. Um. But besides that, I don't think that that deck is all that great. Cause like it's just a it's just a mid range deck that's slow. That's the only fault the deck has. So now I have to think about this. If I just attack with these, cracks this, dismembers, sacks here. Just attack with these two. We get rid of this. We get rid of this. My opponent only has four points in the air. We know their last two cards. So he has to block both of these shadows. So put this in here. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. Okay. I guess I should do this right now. Before they draw any shenanigans. Yeah, I just think there's 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 too much crap in modern. And the, the exception of this is the blue white deck. I literally do not know how the blue white deck wins games of magic, but there's literally just too much crap in modern to like not be able to turn for your opponent and succeed regularly. God, they like rip a path. That's a mausoleum wanderer. A block. Okay. This lob, this matchup gets a lot better with Lava Mancer. Not even close, dude. Not even freaking close. Oh man, I didn't even have. I thought I had a fatal push in there. What a punt! Kind of want to cut the last one of these. <coughs> Unfamiliar stream. We pretty much take any opportunity to tear down. I don't understand how that deck wins. I really don't, but it does. It literally baffles me. 
Like all of my thoughts about modern are pretty consistent and for the most part have like a pretty good like peg on it, except blue white control. Dude, we're doing great. We're only like Brandon, we're only like seven hours into our stream. I'm I'm on top of it. Peter. My phone at Mulligan. You know what I like doing to people that Mulligan thought season them. Oh man. At least they have Mulligan like four. Right? God, I'm going to wreck that ether vial in like six turns when I draw my third land. What do we got? I probably... I could just play EE on one and then blow this ether vial up and then shuffle this land away and feel okay about it. Yeah, let's get this EE on one. on With two cards... Let's let's just get him. Surprise! That's what, but it keeps winning, Brandon. Like, and it keeps being represented. I don't understand. Like, I I I sit in here and I like crap on that deck so much, but like it just keeps winning. <clears throat> it's a supreme move, opponent. I probably just like shouldn't have done this. We're like too far into this stream to make up for these mistakes that have been made. I swear to God, dude, their last card's a Mausoleum Wanderer. I'm gonna rage. Dude, it was crap. We understood it in a second. It just took us a second to realize the mistakes that we had made. Rattle chains. Dude, we're going to lose. We are going to lose. I can feel it. We can't even do anything with these K commands. Because I don't have, there's not even an ether vial there that I can hit. God, I'm so like disappointed in myself and just shamed. What am I gonna do with this? This doesn't even do anything. Guys, we like I need an adult. Like I I have seriously messed up here. I literally have to like shock this thing, make myself discard a card. In order for this to happen here. I am not proud of this. Yeah, I mean that's the plan. We're gonna do it on their upkeep though. Maybe they'll like, I'm really not proud of this. If only that countered the spell. This is some sad shit. I should just like go crawl in a hole after this, I think.
It does help that matchup. I think you lose percent. It does help that, Brandon. You're right there. Yo, if I play my bobble, I can shatter it. All right. On top. Houston, we have a game plan. We're just going to upkeep, literally shock this, make myself discard a card here. I'm just doing that to cycle through my deck. There's not really too much point to like the late game bobble, especially when you can't hit your opponent, but... Probably should have done that on, even though they didn't like shock to keep up spell color, I probably should have done that on my turn. I think they would have shocked themselves to hold spell color there. <clears throat> Their last card's probably like a stupid whatever it is. It's probably a path. But I like how many I boarded out like a couple. I've got two stubborn denials in my deck. I probably just like can't play to a stub, but like it would like if their last card's probably path. Maybe not. So do we just like dismember this shadow and go for it? Probably not. Because we need to you draw something for that to even happen. That's what we needed to draw. All right, let's just chill out. We can do this again next turn. We can play this song and dance in a little while. I just think, like... I just think that the problem with those control decks is, like, I think they are better now than they would, but they've changed. They operate at a much cleaner clip. Drog Skull, Captain. All right, we got it. Even though we had to K command ourselves two times, chat, we did it. Yeah. So, like, I've been talking to people, Brandon. I think that the mod, like, I'm very much with, like, what Todd Stevens and all those guys were writing about this week. I think that modern is starting to separate itself. Like, there's no longer the, like, there's a, like, play whatever you want in modern. I think there's, like, five decks that are kind of, like, above the field. And it's, like, humans, Bridgevine, Tron, blue white control. I can't explain it, but it just wins. Like, I don't get it. And I'm, I'm very much the same position with you, but like the, the numbers and how people that are smart play it, it just shows that. And then I can't remember the last one I was going to say. I was going to say humans, Bridgevine, Blue Eye Control, Tron, and KCI. And then there's like the muck of like decks that are just like fine, like those Storm Affinity, you know, those kind of decks. I think Rix's Shadow is like right here, right in the middle. Then there's like the bottom third of Modern that's just like crap. I think the bridge deck is very good. I think that, like, as soon as it evolves, it's going to become even better. Or the metagame will just evolve around it, and you can't play it for three weeks. And then you can play it. Like, I have four ley lines in my sideboard. Even though I did lose a match to that today, where I resolved a ley line and was greater Gargadon out of the game. Just straight up Gargadon me. Yes. Unless you get Gargadon. Oh, this hand's, like, not very good. My opponent Mulligan. We have two redraws. And if we hit black mana, this hand's, like, pretty reasonable. I think that they're... I think the deck's going to evolve, though, and become more resilient to hate. Like, I, I definitely think that the deck's not in its final form, to say the least. I'm going to cycle one of these now and save one for the, for the Serum Visions next turn. All right, so playing is blue-white control, which is nice. I do want to... 
try out the lunges in the board. <coughs> hey, Mulligan, sweet. We're going to stub a search. No search. What a jerk. So because I can only cast one black spell a turn, I am just going to run this shadow out there because there's no sense really sandbagging it. And if they path it, it, get, it opens me up to do like more, um, to play more black spells. Okay, so we get nodded. It's all right. Ooh. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four. So. One, two, three, four. I'm probably going to leave the Serum Visions in my graveyard. But, like, I can't imagine a world where I win this game by bringing back Serum Vision, by snapping back Serum Visions. Relic, but like, Relic's slow against that deck, especially on the draw, <clears throat> in my opinion. And we just saw that deck was just impressive. It just did a lot of really good things. Why would you have delved six? So you can play around, you can just like represent double stub, is that what we're talking about here? Or are you just bolting them? They had second knot plus path. All right, dude. What do you mean second knot plus path? You're just saying to fake it. Right? So we can actually sneak in a lightning bolt here and then try to battle rage him. I just need my blue white players to just mulligan and then not operate, then I can beat them. If not you for one, you tap out and they you tap out and they path you. But like we couldn't Oh, you're saying like I could have actually paid for the logic knot without okay, I got I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. I missed that. That went over my head there. Yeah, no, that was that was right to do then. I just missed it. Rage. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I've been like folks I've been like splitting my focus and like thinking more. About like the the broader terms with and then respect to like the minimal gameplay. All right, we're gonna try the sauce. We're gonna try the saucy stuff here. Yeah, we do. We beat the shit. Which car are you talking about? Dude, it's just like reanimate. It's like Gorio's Vengeance. 
We're just trying it. Because, like, I just, I just get, like, it is their Archmage, but it's, like, we play Thought Scours, they play Logic, not Cryptic Command. It's just, like, so I think I was talking about this earlier, like, I was just getting very frustrated, like, trying to board up these Kiras and these Liliana Last Hopes to combat these blue-white decks. I want to try a plan that sidesteps it. It's probably not right, like, in all reality, but, like, I just want to try it. But I want to be able to, like, they tap out on four to wrath me, I punish them. They play Jace, like, on a looks like a stable board, I punish them. Like, that's just what I'm going for. Uh, we're going to keep this. Sounds very good. All right. Now we've drawn it, so let's see if it does something. Yeah, I just want to try a strategy. Instead of going, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, I just want to, like... Sidestep them. You know, opt. Nice opt art. I like this opt art a lot. All right, well, we're going to take this rest in peace. Because it shuts off our post mortem lunge. And we can't be having that, ladies and gentlemen. So, if we just thought sees them, they mana leak it or logic not it. But then they don't get to opt. They might opt on their main phase. But, like, the problem is that might open up our Colgon's command. But our Colgon's command, if we had a Street Wraith, then I'd be much more open to that line of play. But we don't. But I've also just got to slog through these counter spells and if i cast this counter spell then they might have to commit man on their own turn and we could draw something so i think i'm just going to jam into their mana true shot crypt and seized why would you have said that brandon true shot crypt and seized are you like playing around something there or are you just like trying to telegraph? Oh, you're talking about instead of me fetching here. Okay, okay, okay. No. Dude, everybody's good at something. What are they doing? They put a card on top, Hallowed Fountain, into play there. Okay. We drew both of our dismembers to handle these Bane Slayer Angels out of the board. Nice. So we're just going to pass. <clears throat> These dismembers are unfortunate. So we just run this Gurmag Angler out there, which I think I'm going to do. They're either going to counter it, and then we can actually do something with our K command, even though it's pretty slow. Or they're not going to counter it. They're going to path it, and that's at least going to like give us more lands for the second one. As unfortunate as this is. I do I do agree with that statement, Brandon. You are right. The lunge is way better than Kira or Liliana. For sure. I do agree that Kira is the best of the bunch, though. Like, like I was a little shaky on that, but you were you were on top of that. So now we're gonna try to like. 
I think I want to upkeep it so that before they can like cryptic command. My opponent just goes like LOL slams a Jace, but like we can't stop that. All right, we got our we got our Delve card back. Lunge does not look great. We're going to be above the rim here. It does not look great. Oh man. Let's go get a land. We're just going to jam another angler. I think that if I want to play that effect, I want to play the effect that's like cheaper. Like, I would much rather play the more high variant. If I'm going to play a card like this, I'd rather play the more high variance version of it. Two for one. The two for one happened. Dude, we can almost hard cast this angler. I'm just saying, boys. Am I actually just casting these? This is some sad shit. There's a lot of damage, a lot of Phyrexian damage here. I can go to three, put both these on top next turn, go to three, my German Angler plus four, cast German Angler with stub up. God, it seems so loose to do that. I'm going to put one on the bottom. I'm going to put the other one on top because then we can play German Angler with stub up. Okay, so this is gone. Dude, we can lunge this Wraith back for sure. My opponent's not even going to see it coming. We're even going to delve over it, and it's going to be great. Fuck, we drew two of them. My nut sideboard card. One, two, three, four. It's probably better to just try to fight with a K command and then play the Gurmag Angler. Can I say how fascinating and find out that people just read the final the deck? Yeah, the only cards that I think you do have to have in there is like Seer Vision, Snapcaster Mage. Like, I think those are definites. Dude, I just want to, my opponent's just saying, like, wow. It's like, dude, I don't even want to hear it. I really just don't want to hear it, man. I was pretty hype about these. Why are you going to lie to me? Probably gonna like just play Kira tomorrow, and then I'm gonna find it, and like it's gonna do just barely enough. God, what a jerk! I probably should just let him discard, to be honest. I swear to God, dude, we're gonna find a dash out. 
Like, to be fair, we haven't hit a Death Shadow on the top 37 cards of our deck. I'm off of it now. Swear to God, dude, I'm going to stub anything I can get my hands on here. Yo, if my opponent condemns this Gurmag Angler, I can just more easily cast my postmortem lunges. Like, joke is on them. going to surgical my street raids. The problem is if he surgicals my street raids, he's going to see my sick tech. Should I just like shame or shame scoop so he doesn't see just this like pile of dog shit card I have in my hand? Oh, this has not been great. This matchup is so mopey. Like, maybe I don't even sideboard the Kiras and I just play two more Grim Lava Mancers for humans. Maybe that's the plan. They did that wow before. All right, they are wowing in response to our. They they left those street raids in our graveyard. It's dignified. Dude, my opponent is laughing now, but when I when I get this street raid back. God, another fucking Gurmag Angler. There. All right, condemn my dude. Got it. All right, here we go. Dude, wrath me. Just do it. All right, let me see what you're cooking with over there. We're in it, dude. Glass computer. They're, they're, they're computer glasses. But see, like now, I mean, like for all the memes aside, it is difficult for my opponent to try to clear the board and then play this Jace or this Teferi. To just push more damage. God, if I just dismember this shadow or this thing, I am only one more mana off post mortem lunging it. And we get to reclass Angler. Look at you and all your big brain moves, Dalloway. 
I really want to dismember this thing, but like we're standing in front of like Cryptic Command to Fairy Cryptic Command. So we can deal. Hang on. So he's aware here. Yo, so what if I... Can I do this? No. I can't dismember this Death Shadow. I can give it minus five, minus five. I could! Yeah, they're dead, right? They're at 12. We need to go to one. I, sh I can't go exactly to one. I can go to 11. So fuck it, dude. We're drawing a fetch land. So I need a whole priority here. No, how do I do this? Dismember this thing. <clears throat> no, street rate doesn't do it. We need to do exactly one point of damage to ourselves. And then we do one Phyrexian, so let's go. All right, boys, come on, fetch land, fetch land. Give me a fetch land, come on. God, no! No! No, it's it's a um, it's a sorcery. Well, uh, so we probably just like do it right and then cast Gurmag Angler. And what do we do it? Well, are we getting this? <sighs> I can't because like no matter what, like I'm I'm one damage off. Postmortem this crack. I can put them to one, but they have a colony. If you stay at six, you could bring both and go to two. Go to two if you stay at six. No, we don't. Yeah, I delved over the race. All right, dude, we're just going to hope our opponent messes it up. And we're going to go for it next turn. I don't even care. If we post more lunch, somebody, I swear to God, I'm just going to be so happy. Like, we're just telegraphing we're dead if they brainstorm here. Me too. Oh, baby. Dude, they're, the fact that they're brainstorming, if they brainstorming brick and we hit a stubborn denial or a counter squall, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Played an island. Ah. Uh. Cuts off fetch lands is out. Yes, it makes it so they can't cast fetch lands. But then I'm not. But then they just bounce Gurmag Angler. I'm not doing anything. Which sucks. All right, whatever. 
I swear to God, if we post more blood to somebody, I'm going to freak the fuck out. Like, I'm, I'm just going to, like, lose my mind. Represent <sighs> push. Yeah, that would have been right. That would have been right, for sure. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to curve out on him. My opponent's going to rat the board, and we're going to have lunge, and we're going to kill him. Not yet. I swear to God, if we post more than lunge somebody. If we post more than lunge somebody and somebody doesn't clip it, I'm going to, I'm going to like, I'm going to freak out. I'm just saying. Dude, if we actually post more to lunch somebody and somebody doesn't get it, I'm going to lose it. Ponza will forever be the worst deck in modern. Bonus red he sees blue white is it's just blue white land destruction. It's not red green land destruction. Ponza just like I, I get if you're trying to win at Magic, I guess, like, I get that, but, like, man. Pawns is the way you decide to do it. You playing in any PTQs this weekend, Brandon, or anything like that? All right, we're going to keep this. Probably just get Blood Crypt on one, Bobble Them, Thoughtseize. We do want a third land so we can get our Snapcaster Mages on. Probably not. <coughs> I have a PTQ tomorrow that I'm going to go to. I still need to figure out what I'm doing there for Baltimore. That's in like what? That's the end of the month, right? I believe I'm going to that one too. That's like it's only like an hour and a half drive from me. Blood crypt, blood crypt, island. Take this logic knot. Coming a long ways to Baltimore. How far away is it? Dees. See, dude, it's it's going to happen. I swear to God, we're going to like, we're gonna play great. We're gonna thought seize our opponent. We're gonna like, we're gonna you know we're gonna get them. Then all of a sudden they're gonna supreme verdict us, and then off the top post mortem lunge. It's gonna be insane. I can already feel it, like, down deep in my bones. Mountain time long ways? Jeez. Oh, this is sweet. So if they K command, all right. So I'm going to cycle this. I'll probably just fire this off right now. I could like discard spell them. I 
guess I could just wait for them to commit as well. It's two more damage, so nine, 18. It is a two turn clock, so I'm going to go for it inside of combat. I should have done a main phase. I shouldn't have done it inside of combat, but like I was already like clicking through by the time I started doing math. Field it. Dude. I so to God hope they wrath me and I would just do anything to rip a postmortem lunge off the top of my deck. I swear to God. Please wrath the board. God, please wrath me and have there be a postmortem lunge on top. Please. God, what a tool in his cryptic command. Good playing bullshit. All right, dude. We checked it out. <clears throat> Do I play two of these? Or just play one? Probably just play one. I just don't understand Terminus. This says, oh my god, we won! We didn't even get the post board lunge then. Did we really even win? Did we really even win? All right, we're going to five out of this league right now. Dalloway's here. I'm showing off my I'm showing off my postmortem lunges to him. We're going to five out of this league tonight. I'm telling you right now. I don't want to hear any of your goddamn negativity. All right? We won because of they were playing around post-mortem lunge the entire game three, and they lost because of it. <clears throat> that is why we lost. Why we won, shit. All right. All right, this deck's, this hand's decent. It could be a little, it's not super explosive. <clears throat> All right, sweet. We're going to be able to try these lunges one more time. One more time, baby. One more time. So we're one and one, that's fair. So we're going to thought seize because I don't want to get search for his canted out of this game. That card is so obnoxious. It, or so it's just so good. But like This is tough. So at least we're playing against the bad version. I'm just trying to take their cheat cards. No, not even close. I work I work as an industrial hygienist in Washington, DC. That's not bad. You would have taken the knot. Oh, I, yeah, you're right. I'm just like zoned out a little bit. I should have taken logic knot because it could I could like clear the way for Snapcaster Mage. Speak of the devil. But this is gonna let us get our Germa Angler in play, which is nice.
uh, like Jeff Hoogland. Yeah, no, that I zoned out there. Well, I figured the the Gurmag angler didn't matter because like either of these dealt with it, but I definitely should have done that for Snapcaster Mage. I don't know, dude. Our opponent's like trying, man. God, look at all those lightning bolts. They're just so good in this matchup. No, I'm gonna tap my red source so he doesn't hit it, unfortunately. So he doesn't field it. We got a plan, everybody. Problem is my opponent's just gonna cram this cryptic command down my throat. I'm gonna stub it. Here's gonna make her to fairy. And they go, God damn it. Oh, they're not going to do that. Don't field my red source, dude. All my red cards suck against you. Come on. Don't do that. God, you're such a piece of garbage. That would have made sense, Brandon. That would have made sense. I am tired. What are we here? We are. We're about. We're about almost eight hours in today. Bolting the Snapcaster would have been these. Because I was hoping if I tapped it, he wouldn't feel to ruin it. I was reaching. Now they're gonna bolt my Gurmag Angler, and I'm gonna let that happen. Dude, I am so good at this game. It is just wild. Let that go. Because the first Gurmag Angler feeds the second Gurmag Angler. And I'm going to stub the ever-living shit out of this Teferi. Picked up a Wrath if he searched. That makes sense. God, he didn't go for it. What a tool. Oh, joke's on you, bud. Dude, can we just talk about how bad I've played this game? Just played this game into just an utter just... Oh, my God. And I played my red source right out into his field of ruin. God, dude. We have just about come to the end of my stream for today. I am getting tired. And I'm just like playing like a complete dick. Good thing is, is look how much we added to get our Gurbag out of going here. Dude. You should have seen us back here at like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, when we put on the Legacy Death Shadow. We were going. We were doing it. God, please do it. Yes! Yes, dude, get out of here. You force bite. Yes. Oh my god, and we can cast our red spells again. All right, I'm actually just going to, I think, tap out for this. So that I can, if he goes like cryptic it on his turn, I can remake it. Replay it again. Pretty easily. <laughs> now let's do it. Yeah. Like, it obviously is going to get better for me. God, what a jerk. Why do you always have it, dude? You guys watch this. I'm calling it right now. I'm going to win this game. I'm going to let everybody know. I'm going to win this game.
Dude, Teddy, we are you you should just leave this stream right now. Cause when I mess up, you let me know and you get all uppity. We are playing fast and loose right now. Like I can already tell you're gonna get mad. Like I'm tempted to just bolt my opponent. Not even gonna lie. Fast loose, that's my magic card. I should just get one. Search all three of those shadows from my hand. <laughs> All right, we got the cryptic out of there. This isn't going to help. All right. Three damage. More toughness. It's a problem. Discard spell. Could be a discard spell. How do you know they will cryptic the wraith? I will eat my own pants. I just knew they were going to. They don't call me Big Brain Hub for no reason. All right? How do I win? How do I win? Real talk. Snap Bolt puts them to 11. Bolt, Bolt, puts them to five. Attack, on one short. So maybe I actually had to bottom that Death Shadow. Maybe I should have like, thought about my decision. Fun fact, they don't call me that. Dude, we're, getting to, we're, we're definitely here at the sad part of the stream. That's rough. We're, we're getting to the sad part of the stream. What do, you, do you think they're actually even going to fire? I bet you, dude, they're totally not even going to fire this colonnade out. I'm going to play a Death Shadow and get it logic knotted. And they just they don't even have the stones here to fire this colonnade out. Guaranteed. Yeah, dude. They even have a logic knot? Yeah. All right, so let's flash this in. Hang on. I gotta get them to burn this counter spell. So let's flash this in. You can't snap stub a Supreme Verdict. I'm close to being able to think I can do that. Look at this dude, they're blowing a cryptic command. We're gonna win this game. We have a shadow on top. They've got one card in their hand. Alright. I swear on everything's holy. Everything that's holy, we're gonna win. Come on. Yes! God damn it. It's all right. It's all right. We're good. My opponent's running on empty. We're going to draw a fatal push for this colonnade. Or we're going to draw a Death Shadow. Okay? Right here. That could be a Death Shadow. That's an answer to the Colonnade. We're bolting this thing right now, though. I swear to God, we're going to win this game. Hey, dude, you fire that colonnade out.
God, do you believe in miracles? All right, so what do we have left? We have one death shadow gone. We have two shadows path. One sh so we have two shadows left in our deck. And we have two Gurmite Anglers. I'm just casting this Street Wraith next turn. You're cycling this bad boy? I'm casting this thing. We're playing this game the way that it's meant to be. Well, now I might Inquisition and cycle it. Alright, I'm getting helixed. Supreme Verdict. Alright, we're going to make him Verdict this Street Wraith. Dude, we're hard casting it next turn. Serum Visions, you got it. I'm going to win this game, dude. He's going to rat. I swear to God. I, I, my, I put two cards on the bottom. My opponent's going to rat this Verdict, this Street Wraith at some point. Yeah, I wish I could play that song from the 80s. The heat is on. The heat is on. Oh, God. I just got my Street Wraith Cryptic commanded. I don't appreciate your negativity. Electrolyze. God damn it. All right. It's okay. This is why we play three. Brandon's your shorts are okay. I'm about to post-mortem lunge this guy so hard. Teddy, you're going to want to leave the stream. Because I'm about to do my lunges. Computer's glasses are getting all foggy. I appreciate y'all for hanging out tonight. Maybe. <laughs> you know, I appreciate you trying to trying to talk yourself into it, Teddy. You should have seen it one game. If we'd have hit like a like an eight outer, the lunges would have won us the game. And everybody wanted it to happen. This is just primo entertainment. But we'd like to play first. Heater. I'm gonna cycle. Um, no, I'm gonna thought these anyways. I can cycle for more information. One of these, which is probably okay. Definitely want to hold the second one though. This is better than. Dude, I'm just gotten. I, I maybe we've just like gone down. We are tired enough where we could just be memeing. Okay. That's tough. I think I'm just going to take this Snapcaster Mage. Left in his bolts. It's probably worth paying attention to. The hand's pretty slow. We might be able to get under that. God, you guys remember when I said I was going to save one Street Wraith? I just have to try not to take 42 damage here. So now we take Purge, Snap Path. We actually take Path because he's not going to be able to Purge for a while. I do want both of these, though. It probably doesn't really matter the order. 
So I'm definitely going to take the purge or take the path because they can't do anything with the, the purge until like turn four. Unless they draw a white source. So go to nine, get this. I kind of want to fetch an island and delve one, two, three, and leave my two discard spells in here. Or I could just like not do that and just take care of the purge, I guess. Maybe just be an adult instead of like banking on getting lucky. I do kind of feel like getting lucky, but it's probably not the right thing to do. <clears throat> Guess we just take this purge. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely risky. Bolt my, you know, bolt me. What are you doing, bud? Moment of truth, boy. You got it, dude. A stub here would be these. God, dude. Just ask me what it's like. Like, just, just ask me. Oh, man, my blue source is gone. I think I made a mistake. Swear to God, if he gets an island and pass me, I'm going to feel like the stupidest person alive because I didn't leave my island untapped. Just saying. You want to know what it's like to draw the perfect card and then squander it? It's great. All right. We're getting in here. God, dude. Dude, we can bring back our Snapcaster Mage. I'm just letting everybody know here. We can even snap back a post-mortem lunge. Dude, we can lunge Snapcasters. Format's broken. Wide the F open. Dude, stop killing all my lands. It's like playing Bridge from Below. Am I really just going to, like, attack with this Gurmag Angler? Just... Is Gurmag Angler going to take me all the way to the Promised Land? We'll find. All right. I do wish I could just flash the Snapcaster Mage in, I'm not going to lie. Oh, baby. My phone's probably going to go like bolt you. Oh, that just kills me. Oh, my God. We're all over the place. No, no, no. I just... No, no, no. Don't let this resolve. Don't let this resolve, Dylan. Don't let this resolve.
Is that an Elspeth? All right, you guys ready for this? We're about to thought scour into a death shadow and post more legend back. Who's ready for this? All right. It's going to happen right here. And then we're going to get them. We haven't seen a shadow yet. I couldn't let that one resolve. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes, there it is! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh my god, get out of my... Oh my god! Oh, my opponent's probably like, what the fuck just happened to me? Oh, my God. I got to take a picture of this. Oh, yes. 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 That was so good. That was so good. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't even. Yes! 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 <sighs> yes! Not I'm losing my mind! I don't even care, I'm gonna keep it. That's great. That's so good. That's so good. Oh, yeah. Just out here. Dude, I feel like a little kid at a candy store. I don't even care about this game. I want to know what my opponent's up to. Like, what did my opponent just think? My opponent's like, all right, Elspeth, tick down. My God, dude. Holy shnikes. That's so awesome. I'm still on like cloud nine. I can't even, I can't even get over it. <sighs> All right, so now I gotta try to win this game here. Yeah, they just take their Elspeth up, they would have won. All right. Let's focus. 
real magic here. No more, no more, you know, we're just messing around. Do you think, how much, how afraid of that post-mortem lunge do you think they're going to be for the rest of this? They're just going to be like, oh my God, I could tap out, but like, he could kill me. Dude. How many times have these people that play Death Shadow, how many times have you beaten a resolved Elspeth? We got there with the lunge. Yeah, we did. How many times have you all beaten? I'm going to stub this, I think. I kind of want to do it. What can they resolve on three? Like nothing very important? Maybe like a little Gideon? I kind of just want to like find my third land and smooth out here. Um, so we do want this land, but we don't, we don't need that one. We do want this one. Oh my God. I'm still on cloud nine. That was so great. So what is this? Like an electrolyze? Oh, we're going to get clicked. What a tool. All right, so it probably takes my Colagon's command. <clears throat> oh, he clicked himself. What? He put it on my draw step, but he clicked himself. All right. You do you, bugaboo. All right, I do kind of, so I got to figure like how to navigate my life total here so I don't get like, so I don't die. I could just play this angler. Dude, yeah, my opponent, no, they targeted themselves. Like they, they, they clicked me on my draw step and then targeted themselves, which is wild. Just absolutely wild. Oh. Dude, I don't even care. All right, so we're going to try to stub this. I have a feeling this is not going to work. Holy shit, it worked? Yeah, dude, they're like, we can't click him. He's going to lunge us. That would have worked. That would have worked too, Brandon. Like this is league. This is league number five tonight. So we we are we are playing. We're playing fast and loose. Uh, I probably want to upkeep this. Because they can not me anyways. We're probably going to die here. But that's okay. Oh, man. So now we can go Serum Visions into... We can K-Command the Snapcaster Mage. My opponent really doesn't have a lot going on after that. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Oh my god, we drew it. We drew it. Alright, so there's Nasty, so we're going to want this.
Dude, he's probably having flashbacks. Yeah, dude. I think... I think I'm going to take a shot from this Snapcaster Mage so that I don't get jazed. Yeah, dude. We just need Thought Scour. Because the only thing is different between four and six is like Snapcaster, like Electrolyze plus um, Bolt kills me now. No! Snap negate. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. They play one Jace. Okay. Hang on. So, like, just for shits and giggles, I'm just saying. We can flash this Snapcaster Mage in to block because we can post more and lunge it back. I'm just saying, if my opponent for some reason fetches here and we block and trade and they fetch for no reason, we can post more to lunge back our snap. I'm totally, I'm not even kidding. I'm flashing the Snapcaster Mage in the block. All right. Now what am I doing? I feel like I still, nah. What do you got, dude? Like, what do you have? I think we just play it. All right, let's see what they're drawing. <clears throat> Bobble, not great right here. Dispel. That doesn't counter post-mortem lunge, baby. I think I'm just sending in with the angler. <clears throat> Dude, they know. They know about the lunge. Oh my god, we drew another Snapcaster Mage. I can't even handle this. This is just way too much trauma. So that means they don't have a burn spell, I think. So if they had a burn spell, they would have just taken that and then cracked in. So I almost think I can cycle my Street Wraith. I certainly remember that time. Oh my gosh. All right, you got it, dude. Oh, come on. There's the thought scour. So they don't have a burn spell. We know they don't have a burn spell. So do I want to thought seize them? Or do I want to cycle this street wraith? Yes, we can lunge the snapcaster, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I 
How do we win? Am I just like missing something? I'm going to cycle. Okay, so there's another angler. Yeah, we don't win. I was just like, Teddy, you were just like screaming it just to do it. This is wild. Dude, they're playing around the lunge. I can feel it. I guess I can go to one here. There's no difference. Do I have a land? Do I have a land? Yeah. Because we got to get our value off our post-mortem lunge. Like, we have to snap back this Serum Visions. Okay, they ditch. They ditch the field of ruin. They played Island, so they've got Dispel and another card. Come on. They're just going to search and then bolt me. Oh, my God. I can't even deal with this. Okay. Tap, draw. Sure. I kind of want to just lunge back this Snapcaster Mage. I think I would rather just like, all right, whatever. We're going to hardcast Tree Wraith. Come on. Oh, they don't have it. This has been the one. I, this is just wild. They just have a cryptic. What a jerk. God, can I get a thought scour? Damn it. I really don't want to cast my post mortem lunge until it wins me the game. Like, this might not be right, but I think I'm just going to pass and only cast Postmortem Lunge when it wins. Where's Fade and Burn spells? Dude, how sick is it going to be if my opponent plays Elspeth and ticks it down? They're getting desperate. They found a path. Think twice. Oh my god. Yes. It's 100% wrong. Yes, but it's so worth it. All right. All right, last match of the day. We're going for the 5-0. Oh my god.
I appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. This has been awesome. This has been awesome. <sighs> Guys, everyone, you should just go buy them out. Just go buy them out. We got to just... We just, we gotta just, you gotta go get them. Get them now before before they're out of supply, and they spike from like fifty cents to like eighty three. Oh, thank you very much, Cat. Dude, you should just buy them all, Teddy. I would like to want to play. Want to play for the five zero heater. Absolute heater. Oklahoma again. In Oklahoma again. Should I ask them? Should I just chat? And be like, are you from Oklahoma? All right. There's a lot of creatures. We don't have that many removal spells. I think I'm just gonna take this blighted agent and then look to get in front of this, this uh, <clears throat> these glistener elves, for now. So I currently do not have an answer to this. This is a good matchup, though. Pendlehaven into glistener elf. Okay. Yeah, this is a solid matchup. For the home team here. So I've got three bolts in my deck. So I probably want to fetch and get a steam vents with this. Because then I can also stub something. Because like there's no way I cast Gurmag anywhere. Yeah, let's just get steam vents. I mean, I'm going to feel bad if I hit a black spell off of this. But, okay. So we don't want any of these. At least now that we hit this Gurmag Angler, we can get nasty next turn with Stub Up. <clears throat> this is a good matchup. I definitely do not like that they play Invisible Stalker now on their sideboard, which like beats me up. All right, you got it, dude. So he probably drew, I guess, like, we're, we're representing a bolt. So, like, the groundswell might not be indicative of, like, a vines or a blossoming defense. All right, let's look at our top card here, figure out what we want to do. You see this doll away, Bob? You, you see this bobble doll away? It's free. We get a free scry. Didn't even cost us mana. We want that card. Look at all that free stuff we just got. You negative Nancy. It probably will be better as a Seer of Visions. Come on, Teddy. We're more, we're definitely board, boarding in these post-mortem lunges. I think I'm going to block this thing. Because it's going to take, like, two spells. No. <coughs> you just got to believe. If you play snap, you play three Snapcaster Mages, you basically play seven Serum, serum Visions. There's Inky.
All right. We're still just going to block this thing. Then stub this. We can thought he's a rancor or snap. Well, I guess we're probably not going to be able to snap stub a rancor. It still like isn't a super good trade, but it does set them back a lot because this this ink moth nexus is pretty mana hungry. Oh, okay, that's a good one. We have a new plan. Wow, they are just running around empty. Um, I guess like Noble Hierarch Beats aren't a real thing. <clears throat> still want to still trade the creature. Elude the deck check. <laughs> I kind of want to hold this Snapcaster Mage. I don't really know if I want to like snap Serum Visions. I'm either going to snap Serum Visions on my turn. So they drew another Ink Moth. So I'm probably going to like... Not do that. Hopefully they toss this Rancor on this thing right now. And then we deal with the Rancor. Peace. Give me the two for as you free my soul. All right, that's good. Let's see what we draw for the turn. We drew a bolt. So now we're just going to snap Serum Vision. I think we're looking for Death Shadow. We're going to go digging. <clears throat> yeah, we're in good shape. We do need to find like a big guy pretty soon. No big guys. No big guys. Yeah, at least we got a clock on the board. I mean, whatever. Nine turns later, we got him. <coughs> I appreciate all of you guys for being here. You know how that snap? Yeah. Our opponent's just letting us know what they drew, though, which is kind of sweet. I'm going to play a different land than the one that I have. So I'll take it. Is it crazy to leave lands on top and scour them away? Yeah, because then I have to scour in my upkeep. Like, all right, there's, there's the big man. The man, the myth, the legend. Poor sequencing. I should have attacked first. <clears throat> God, how many people, like, if this 5-0 list gets posted, God, they keep just telling me what they draw. So I think I kind of want to hold back with this Snapcaster Mage because of uh, Dryad Arbor. So let's take a look at our top card because if we don't want it, we're going to want to fetch and get in another point. That's not bad. That's not bad. <clears throat> Didn't do it. Okay. They must not play like a slip through space or whatever the rebound one is. All right. I think that's checkmate. Let's just make sure. All right. We knew that was there, but it's worth it just uh I mean, what else are we going to do?
Let's bring the rage. We got one more match. One more, one more game for the 5-0. I'm getting pretty, it's pretty exciting. I really want to board my post-mortem lunges in. That's probably not good to do. All right, so I don't really have a lot for this matchup anymore. We've changed things around a little bit. I want these for sure. I kind of want to keep all my creatures. <clears throat> Board and lunge. All right, just for you, Brandon. Should I change my card from Team or Battle Rage to Postmortem Lunge here? Just one? <laughs> All right, what do I have to cut? I don't genuinely don't think that I need Battle Rage in this matchup. Like, it's kind of just better slowing the game down a little bit. I usually like to shave one angler. The problem is, like, all my interaction is pretty good. So I kind of just like to shave all across the board. I'm like, eh. Dude, we're not cutting Thought Scours. We're not cutting Thought Scours if we're bringing in post-mortem lunges. <clears throat> I don't want the last stub if I've got six big guys. Probably. I also don't think you need Battle Rage. Like, sometimes Battle Rage is nice to get over the top of, um... Sometimes Battle Rage is nice to get over the top of whatever it is. Um... Gosh, I can't even think. Uh, Invisible Stalker. But besides that, Battle Rage is, is not great. All right, well, this hand's kind of slow. It's got two shadows, but four lands. I think we're going to ship this one. This hand is not much better, but it's on six. We have a Snapcaster Mage, so we don't want the second one. We don't ever shave Bobbles while Brandon Dalloway's here. It's his favorite card. Second favorite card besides Postmortem Lunge. I swear to God, I'm going to take a post. I'm, I'm playing this list at the PTQ tomorrow. All right. Um, let's just get rid of this. So they can't cast the Bladed Agent. No, they can. They can. The Hierarch. Yep. So we're going to take that. Zoned out. It was four lands. That is so slow. Like, most sixes are going to be better than that. <clears throat> most random sixes are going to be, are going to top that. This hand is better on six. It's better on six. Like, I don't want to go five. I'm going to Snapcaster Mage to, like, hopefully, uh, to recoup a little bit. Look, it's not great. I mean, I wish we would have drawn not a land there. Yeah, dude, we are going to get Noble beaded, though. Four... This is six, so I can't even cast my Thoughtseize next turn. God, this is great. This is great. Is this what it feels like to be on the back? This is what my opponent felt like when they resolved, like, like this is just awful. That first hand was like... I think you can do better on a random six than that first hand. I stand by the mulligan decision. All right? 
The problem is target one one creature gets plus two plus two. So all right, we're gonna go with that they don't see this coming. Dude, you should call me man, Brandon. I'm I'm like two years older than you are. You're the boy. All right. We're gonna call you like little boy doll away in this chat. <laughs> this deck is not very good against like. All right, we're gonna. Oh shoot, I can't even command this. Maybe they won't even. Maybe they won't even realize it. I'm just gonna flash in Snapcaster. I don't know why I fetched here. We're gonna be honest. I got like it's. I got like stuck in my head picking on Brandon. And I didn't really think about my play. Little B Deezy, sure. Oh, we knew about that dismember, too. All right. All right. That was embarrassing. Little bandana. <laughs> <clears throat> this was embarrassing. For sure. This was one of those dang games where just nothing really goes right. All right. We're going to keep it. Guys, if we, don't, if we lose to Infect... Little Bandeezy. <laughs> Hellcat's my favorite streamer because she calls you Little Bandeezy. This hand could be whatever. I'm going to keep this. So let's check out our top card. This is where things get a little annoying with like sequencing and such. Okay, we're going to want that. We're going to check out our top card again. I don't even actually do we want that shadow yet. I probably don't actually want that thing. Not yet. So we drew an Inquisition. So now I'm going to bobble them. I guess I can look. I mean, I guess that fuels become immense. If I look at my top card, want it, and then thought scour them. But I think that's kind of marginal. So let's take a look here. I do want that land, so I think I'm going to do this. I just kind of want to churn through my deck and get this flack out of here. Draw a card. What do we got? All right, so Thought Seize Gurmy, or do we just go Stubborn Denial? We can't go Stubborn Denial, Gurmy, because we got to use the mana, unfortunately. So let's get this. All right, so we're taking this Invisible Stalker. My opponent can actually power through my Gurmag Angler, so we're not blocking with it next turn. We do need to find some removal spells quickly, though. The Invisible Stalker is a big, is, is a real beating. Look at that. We didn't even thought scour ourselves and we got them. <clears throat> Wait. Do you think our opponent has postmortem lunge? They might have postmortem lunge. What if they lunge back this invisible stalker? So right, two, four, six. So this thing's too big to block. There's the Heath. All 
Dude, I do too. That's all. That's literally all. I might just like never stream again. Like, I'm not really sure it actually gets much better than that. All right, this is nice that we have no pressure coming on here, unless they're thinking about it. Okay, so they went with the other play. Which is, so they still have a Blighted Agent, which is, the, I mean, this is a free attack. Maybe? Yeah, no blocks. We gonna we gonna use some pump spells, bud. All right, we need to find a way to kill stuff quick. Uh, okay, let's go get steam vents. Now I gotta pay attention. I don't really want to do that. Let's see our visions. Oh man, there's the lunge. We have to top the lunge, right? And we have a thought scour. Okay, so. We probably just take a mutagenic growth. The problem is the blighted agent, so we have to take a pump spell. Grixis Ludge combo dot deck. I gotta take one of these mutagenic growths, I think. The problem is that doesn't well I get to counter one of them. So I can block. And I guess we're just on defense. So that's their hand. Okay, so there's the agent. So this attack's gonna look good to them, but it's really not gonna be good. They didn't do it. We draw, we draw our sweet card. All right. I think I should bolt this thing right now. And then I can stub the spell. Because their hand is growth. Defense something. I definitely want to do this on my turn. Let's do a little bit of posturing. How many of these do I have to pay? Pay X. Okay. So how do I die? Crack in. Hit him down to 11. Cracks me to 4. There's just so many ways that we die, and we're at least, our Gurmite Anger is at least going to chew through like two pump spells. Worst comes to worst. And then the game's going to go long enough, and we're going to lunge it back. I mean, I'm going to block. It's going to take at least... Our Gurmite Anger is going to trade for at least a pump spell. This likely means that they have like a Vines in their hand also.
He cone lands. Okay. If I would an attack. So you still have growth. Alright, that's it. Maybe I should have bottomed this lunge. Rut row. Rut row, Raggy. So they get in for two. The EE's in my graveyard, unfortunately. Guys, this 5-0 is not looking great. Whoa. We are changing gears. They're just hitting me on all fronts. Lunge back the EE. I wish. All right, what do we got here? Oh, so we cycle this, Skirmag Angler. Cycle this. Rut row. I'm going to cycle it because whatever. We either get a draw step right now. We might not get another draw step if I don't cycle this. Oh, man. They got us. Could we have scoured away the lunge to keep it later? No, we draw post-mortem lunge in this Twitch chat. Or in this Twitch stream. 